Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica, this is Muni Reads where I talk about books and things. And today we're gonna talk about my TBR and my TBR plan. My TBR has gotten out of control. And before anybody says anything, I want to reiter re reiterate, 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 I don't know how to say that word, but <laughs> I want to go back to that one video I posted about how before I started this booktube channel, or actually, before the beginning of this year, like last year and the year before, I wasn't reading as much as I read now. I was kind of like in a reading slump, I was not in a very good place, but then I started reading again and I started this channel. But what I noticed was that I didn't have a lot of books that I haven't read because as I mentioned before, 90% of the books that, you, no actually 100% of the books that you see behind you have been read. So. I really didn't have much to go with. So what I started doing was I started buying books and then I kept buying books and I kept buying books. And before anybody says anything, I don't have anything against that. I have found the most incredible books. I have started to read classics. I have started to read nonfiction and all of this because they were recommended through booktube and I honestly wouldn't have gotten them otherwise. So this is nothing against book hauls. This is about my big TBR takedown because gosh, can my cats be any more loud? Jesus, sorry. <laughs> because basically what's happened is I've got around 50 to 52 because I did buy some more books. Don't worry, I put them so that they would be delivered after the 26th, which is when um, quarantine of officially ends here in Spain, so I'm still keeping my mailman safe. But the point is, I did get some more books and I have 48 books on my Kindle. So that is just about 100 books in my TBR. And that is ridiculously a lot for me. I'm one of those people that kind of gets like bogged down or stressed out when there are too many options and then I go a little bit like crazy like I don't know what to do and I get anxious and what I have too many books to read and and then I start feeling bad because I've I, I've bought all of these books and I'm like when am I gonna read them am I gonna be able to read them and it just goes a little bit haywire so I decided to come up with a plan to get my TBR down. Now, officially, I was gonna do a book buying ban, but then I realized that that shit don't bring me joy. Honestly, book buying bans don't bring me joy because I still like to have variety. And for example, I know you're saying, Monica, you've got a hundred books. Like, that's variety. And you are 100% correct, my friend. The thing is, for example, out of those 100 books, I have about five, I think less, four graphic novels. And I really like to read graphic novels. Graphic novels are something that I love. So what I was thinking of doing was, I'm not gonna go on a book buying ban, but I am seriously gonna lower the amount that I'm buying compared to the amount that I'm reading. So per every five books I read per month, all right, I'm gonna allow myself one book. So if I read, five books this month, then I can only haul one book. If I read 20 books this month, I, I can buy four books. You can do mathematics. This is not that difficult. So I'm not going on a book buying ban, but I am starting a little project, which I am so excited about, which is the TBR takedown project in which I set a goal for myself of reading books that I already own. So what is this? What are these goals? Basically, I want to make sure that every month I am reading a book from one of the following categories. Category number one is I want to read a nonfiction book. I've really been getting into nonfiction, so I want to make sure that every month I'm reading at least one nonfiction book. And that's also a reason why I didn't do like a book buying ban because before this, I didn't have a lot of like nonfiction books to read. Before this, I didn't really even buy nonfiction books. So I want to make sure that I am buying nonfiction books if I run out of them to read in a month. Like right now, I think I've got four. So that would be, you know, four months if I only read one because I don't, I'm not limiting myself to one. I'm just saying that one is the least amount of 
books that I can read in said genre per month. The other category which I want to add to make sure that I'm reading at least one book per month is a continuation of a series. I sometimes start series and then because I have so many books incoming, I just don't continue on with the series. So my cat is going in the litter box. Yeah, and she chose this one, the one right here. So let's just wait it out. Ugh. So I believe before my cat decided to rudely interrupt us, we were talking about continuations of a series. Now, I'm not going to actually limit this to like sequels of a series because I also have a bunch of books from authors that are not in a series but that are from the same author because for example, right now my love for Daphne du Maurier knows no bounds like zero bounds. I adore Daphne du Maurier. So I have a bunch of her books and I want to read the books that I have of hers. So I know that they're not necessarily in the series, but I'm going to count those books as part of the TBR takedown because if not, then I'll never get to them. And then the next category is, you've got them right here, classics. I want to read at least one classic per month. That is so important to me right now. I'm really, really loving classics. I want to continue to read classics. I want to just read all of the classics. And sometimes I feel like I forget about them because I've got all of these new releases and stuff. So I want to read at least one classic per month. Again, I might read five classics in one month, but I have to read at least one book in each category. The next category I want to add is a reread. Now, the reason I want, like, the, I know it sounds silly because the idea is to take down my TBR, but I'm reading books that I've already read. But here's the thing I keep books that, in theory, I want to reread one day, but I never do. I never reread books. It's this year that I started to reread -re books, and I have a bunch of books back here that I might want to reread. So I'm going to add one reread per month for me. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably going to be reading the Shadow Children. Where are they? Are they here? Oh, they're back here. You can't see them. But I'm probably going to be reading the Shadow Children series a lot because they're fast. And I'm also going to be reading The Search for Warm Blood. And I might read this. See, I'm already excited about this. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be excited about the books that I own and not just the books that I want to own. Another category that I want to mention is big books. I want to read one big book a month and I already kind of read big books and sometimes this might be a classic or sometimes it might just not be a classic because for example, there's the picture of Dorian Gray, which is a small book, but it's a still a classic, etc. What is a big book to me? Anything over 500 pages is a big book to me. I don't like books like that but I do own more than one, so let's get that down. And that way I force myself, and I like the idea that I'm only putting one on there per month because if I try to read more than one big book per month, that's just not, no, no, no honey boo boo child, that's not gonna work for me. Now the last category that I am adding to this magical TBR takedown is graphic novels. I didn't used to read graphic novels, I used to read, I mean, Look, I used to read comic books when I was younger. I read all of the X-Men comic books. Ask me anything about X-Men, I know about it, okay? But the thing is, since I started becoming a reader, for a while there, I wasn't reading comic books or graphic novels because I felt that they were not reading. I don't feel that way anymore, don't come at me. I literally, I literally have a video where I'm like, read comic books. But anyway, Comic books or graphic novels or manga, I would like to add that to my reading TBR takedown because I have some of them. But here's the thing, I don't have a lot of them, so that's why I'm not doing a book buying ban. And that is how I'm going to get through my books. I can kind of combine them, I can kind of play with this, you know, but if you think about it, that's six. So if I only read those six books, I can already buy a book. And that I think is kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, I feel this video's a mess. <laughs> I had this all prepared and then it just went right out of my head when I started filming. So 
I'm sorry. But I hope you kind of get the gist of the idea. I really didn't want to do a book buying ban because honestly, I don't really spend money outside of buying books. Um, I buy, for example, skincare. I buy, um, if one of my pants rips, I buy pants. Or if my body changes and I need a different size, then I'll buy clothes. But in reality, I don't do much outside of reading. And I thought of the idea of just completely taking that away from me was not gonna, it was not gonna make me happy. Another thing that happens is, I know that I read a lot on my Kindle and I freaking love reading on my Kindle. Also, remember when I hauled this book cover, like this Kindle cover, it's so beautiful. But um, I know that when you buy books on Kindle, you're not actually buying the book. You're only kind of leasing the book. And what happens is sometimes I read books on my Kindle and I want to have them physically because I love them so much. Like for example, um, A Long Way to a Small Angry planet by becky chambers i have the whole series here in my book in my not in my book in my kindle i have the whole series in my kindle but i would eventually like to have it in physical so if i don't have the ability to buy it in physical i'm just i i am like a toddler and i throw a tantrum okay i want to sometimes have physically books that i read on my kindle or that i read through script I want to have them physically in my library and then maybe one day they will be a reread for me or maybe not you know i'm not planning on rereading my entire uh, library but i am planning on at least trying to reread the books that i already own because that's the reason like that's how i justify keeping them or i justify buying them is that well maybe one day i want to reread it well honey boo boo child you never reread so get on it oh gosh by the way, loving this shirt. I, I didn't wear this shirt all um, autumn. I don't know why I wasn't feeling it, but now I'm kind of feeling it. It's cute on me. It's very dark academia. I like, I feel like I, like I need a little black satin bow. I'm gonna get on that. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for coming back to my channel. For those of you that have come back, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. How are you doing with your TBR? Are you on a book buying ban? Just, you know, let me know whatever it is that you want to let me know. Just a reminder, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And sometimes if I'm feeling a little saucy, I'll post something on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But not Saturday and Sunday because ya yeah, girl need a rest. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. And now I'm going to do that ridiculous bye thing that I can never do. <laughs> Bye guys. Also, also, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I made these pants and they don't go with this shirt, but you know, YouTuber life. I don't, whatever. But look, they're like the perfect spring pant. Let's see if you can see them. Look at that. Look at that. Are they cute? There you go. That should be the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> what is this channel? <laughs> Bye guys.